Hey, this is Brad at Summit Toyota taking a look at the uh, 2017 uh, Toyota Tacoma. This is a SR5 and it's in a uh, basic black here. Uh, looks really good. It's got a bit of a chrome trim across the grill at the, uh, the majority of the grill and a kind of a muted uh, black uh, polymer. And uh, coming around here, you can see that the from this angle how, how far back the radiator is lots of good airflow there uh, for the air to come through aggressive lights and uh, daytime running lights um, panning over to the side here take a look at the wheels they are solid uh, alloy type of uh, a wheel with a powder coating on the outside and a finish clear coat finish and uh, those are the six lugs um, the wheels on here, uh, I should say the tires rather, are um, aggressive enough to uh, get through snow or whatever you need, but also uh, give you the kind of good gas mileage that this 4x2 uh, offers. So uh, this is the four-door uh, double cab version, and uh, you have your fender flares here uh, with the polymer undersides to help protect against road fleck and things like that. Moving on to the side here, you can see the tanu cover. This is the trifold tanu cover that is uh, like a ballistic polymer. Uh, it folds up uh, in, from three pieces into one and stows away and, and offers a great protection for your bed uh, without all the uh, fluttering and such that you have with a, a uh, soft cover. So this is uh, standard on this uh, particular truck. And moving on to the side here. Uh, if I didn't mention before, this is the V6, so plenty of power. Um, it's 4 by 2 with the V6, plenty of power, and uh, kind of a nice touch here, if you can see it from this, this angle, you've got Tacoma embossed into the uh, rear tailgate. Got a backup camera right there where the latch is, and it says Toyota again there, and then you have a, a key uh, lock right on the handle, which is nice. Moving on down to the bumper, you have a four pin and a seven pin connector. It's built right into the bumper, along with lighting into the bumper. And uh, that offers great protection because a lot of times, um, historically folks have had trouble with, um, on, a, on other types of vehicles, with uh, connectors going bad and things like that. This offers weather protection with the caps and that's just fantastic. Uh, it's great protection and, and ready and reliable to use when you need it. Moving on down here past the uh, to the bottom of the bumper, you can see the two inch uh, Reese type hitch with the uh, areas to be able to latch for tow hooks. And um, coming over to the side, the chrome piece here on the bumper uh, offers good visibility for safety. And uh, up top here, uh, just before uh, we move into the into the center of the vehicle, we have a light. It shines back to the bed, so that can actually be on or off, depending on how you want that. And also have a rear sliding rear view mirror or a sliding rear, rear view window, I should say. Uh, moving into the vehicle now, you can see here in the doors, we got uh, power locks and power mirrors, power windows. So convenience uh, factors are here in this truck. Being an SR5, it uh, is, a, is a pretty big, you know, a lot of basic things, but also some convenience uh, features that uh, most folk, folks are looking for. Um, coming into the vehicle, you see the dash area here, and uh, this is the key, you have a real key. Tachometer on the left, temperature gauge in the bottom of the tachometer dial. Uh, also have an odometer trip reading uh, area there. And uh, on the right, you have your speedometer along with your fuel gauge. In the center is your multi-informational display. And that has uh, some various uh, menus in it. Uh, you're able to set various uh, settings with the computer on the truck. And right down here on the steering wheel, you have uh, control for that. So I can simply press that and pan through some of the different features in the multi-informational display. As you can see outside, it's 52 degrees right now and uh, the odometer reading here is only at seven miles on this vehicle. Uh, keep on going, it's gonna give the tire pressure 
and that'll come on in, in just a minute or two. Um, moving on through here, uh, messages about the vehicle, it's not showing any, uh, and settings, this is where you would do that. So um, distance to empty and miles per hour, just quick things to be able to see in a digital display as well. So that's fantastic. On your left here are your uh, light, is your light area control and volume control for both your stereo and also your phone which is fantastic um, moving on over here you're able to uh, just jump back in your menus with this button and uh, moving on to the Entunes area here in the center of the vehicle dash is your Entunes and so you have your uh, audio which is what we're on right now you have XM radio AM FM CD uh, Bluetooth capability and then moving to the apps, we have the phone where uh, Bluetooth phone capability for contacts and, and phone talking while you're driving uh, as a safety feature. Also have an eco mode, kind of show your uh, gas mileage and your lapse time, trips, things like that, which is nice. Um, also have traffic and weather setup, which is really nice. Um, taking a look at the venting and AC here see how this moves and then it rotates and we have we have these several of these in the vehicle here so you could get air where pretty much virtually wherever you need it and want it um, moving on down to the climate control here it's your standard type dials very easy to use you have your recirculation your air conditioning defrost and then uh, down below that uh, some more technology stuff we have an ECT power button which will allow us to uh, get a little more power for going up and down mountains uh, or towing something uh, which just has a towing package on it by the way uh, absolutely fantastic um, to have that feature on a 4x2 like this uh, USB uh, port here along with a audio jack port and a 12 volt port as well for power uh, there's your uh, your your dash compartment you also have kind of a neat feature is right up here get you right there is a, a GoPro mount which is really cool if you have a GoPro and you want to uh, you know be recording while you're driving that's certainly something you can do moving on to the mirror here you can see up in the upper right hand corner of the mirror is a compass uh, indicator so if you want to get a good heading where you're at that's a fantastic feature to have, very uh, very easy to use and just really handy. This is also an auto dimming mirror. Um, vanity up here, so you have your vanity lights for both the passenger and the driver. And then uh, one of the, if I can focus here a little bit, we have a button right up here, right there, which you can turn the traction control on this vehicle on or off. Moving back through the cabin here, you can see that this has a brand new plastic still on everything. You can see how much room you have in this being a four door. I'm going to move around so you can see. And the box is the mat, so when this vehicle gets detailed, all that stuff will be installed. But uh, it kind of gives you a good overview there of what the uh, 2017 Tacoma. SR5 V6 in black looks like and uh, would love to have you come out and take it for a test drive and we'll go from there. So again this is Brad, Summit Toyota, taking a look at the 2017 SR5 Tacoma V6 in black. Thanks.